Look at me, 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 look at me now. Fuck, are you kidding me? You're the mother. All right, coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. Well, pretty much every time out in the UFC, DC, this man has put on a striking clinic, and that is his methodology coming in here tonight. He'll try to keep the fight on the feet. And that's why we tune in, right? That's why we tune in. We tune in to see guys that are dynamic. We tune in for the speed. We tune in for the knowledge of the striking game, the ability to set traps, the ability to find the jab, the ability to find the right hand, the right kick, the left kick, the knees, the elbows. He truly uses every weapon that he has in his arsenal to try and finish his opponent. You make one mistake, night's over. You cannot make mistakes against a guy that has the striking acumen yep. of this guy right here. And the jab is not as underutilized a weapon as it was in MMA, say, five or seven years ago, but he's got as good a jab as anyone in the business, and that is where all of his striking flows off of. We'll see how it goes for him in this matchup tonight. Well, we probably trot out the term well-rounded in modern-day mixed martial arts more than we should, but this fighter certainly fits the bill. Oh, 110%. He can do everything inside the octagon. Where he is most comfortable is inside of that eight-sided structure right. where most men are terrified of being. But for this gentleman, he only wants to be there. When you try to wrestle him, he's able to defend takedown. If you dare stand and strike with him, he can knock you out. He's got all the tools necessary to become a UFC champion. His first martial art, mixed martial arts, <laughs> and that's not always the case. He believes that he should have a lot of advantages in this matchup tonight. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. So a more than five-year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age, with similar height and some differences in reach. Now for the official introductions, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Bergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It is Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 163 pounds. Smith! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 14 wins, 4 losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Busan, South Korea, the Korean Superboy, Do Ho Choi. All right, give me the rules of the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. They touch him up, and we are underway. draws a guy who can do a little bit of everything. And that guy is usually the one that will have the advantage. But we know what a high-level striker is, and this guy is as high-level as we've ever seen in the UFC. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the judge. Right-left combo by George. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Good punch. Another shot lands upstairs. How 
good is this action about a minute in? I think I'm gassing out just watching this thing. I'm exhausted trying to call all the strikes that these two men are throwing at each other. Right on the bridge of the nose, he is bleeding. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the field. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. Nice punch lands. I mean, he's cutting it out the side with these beautiful leg kicks. Just over three minutes now to go in round one. Let's go. Keep pushing. Punches block. Big punch land for the middle. Smith gets absolutely punished by that head. He's got a serious right punch, and he went to it effectively there. It is his money shot, and he will continue to throw it until he finds a knockout. Oh, nice jab there. He told us on Thursday he wanted to break this dude's nose. That is certainly a step in the right direction. Mission accomplished. Ah. You are battering that nose. Well, a lot of people think he might have the best jab in this division, certainly using it effectively here. I mean, one of the best jabs in the world across all combat sports. The way that it just comes out, it's beautiful. The backside hand is always at the chin. The elbow's tucked to the ribs. The jab goes out, the jab comes right back to the face. It's picture-perfect technique, almost like a Taibo class or something like that. Nice. Oh, and he caught the kick. Huge block there. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Lands the right hand. Missed with that right hand. Nice spinning attack to the body. Lands for him. Oh, and there he goes again, working off that beautiful jab. He continues to keep his opponent at distance. I mean, keeps him at bay with that beautiful, precise jab. It is like a piston. It goes in and out, and before his opponent can even realize what hit him, he's already hitting him with another one. Right. I love, love watching this man fight because of that beautiful, educated jab. Smith's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. Lands flush with that right hand. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Joy gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Well, he continues to stay busy, and he continues to land with volume punches. I mean, volume, but he's not wasting anything. He's so accurate out there. Five minutes in the books. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. Barely missed on an uppercut right here on the inside. 
He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. All right, so a nice job there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Big call from Punch Land. Now he gets back to range. There's no tell on that leg kick. Try to establish that jab. And he landed the right hand there. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Telegraph that spinning back fist. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Oh, caught him with a head kick. That at least partially landed. Oh my goodness, he got kicked in the head and he still stands. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Oh, nice counter jab there. He blocks the punch. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Oh, trying to turn out the lights with that roundhouse kick, but just misses. Joy's cut is getting worse. The cut man chomping at the bit to get in there. He'll have to wait for the break between rounds if we get there. Oh, I love the jab. I know you love the jab. That was a nice one. It's my favorite punch in all the fight. Oh, nice jab. Here's the kick blocked by Smith. Oh, nice knee to the body. Very nice. Well, a really good second round for him thus far after a somewhat lackluster first round. He has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Ooh, what a punch. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the woods with those leg kicks. Smith gets hit with a kick. Now a counter with a body. Good job by the Korean Super Bowl. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands and he's doing a nice job protecting the dome. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of times, those shots to the head will knock you out. Not this time. This guy's making sure nothing lands. Powerful leg kick lands. And he switches to southpaw. Looking to land the right just out of range. Smith gets hit by that leg kick. Good punch lands. Back and forth we go here. Smith gets hit by that leg kick. May not be a bad idea to start to check some of these. There you go. Stay tight. Stay tight. Connects with a right. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. Head kick lands. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. And they separate. Big leg kick lands. Two rounds in the books. All right, so the round is over. You see, obviously, the fighter has a cut on his cheek sustained in that round, but better to be below the eye than above it. The cut man is in there trying to close it up. All right, a lot of high-level striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it, if you will. Tit for tat. 
who has the best chin? It seemed as though they were looking for that answer. Both guys took risk. What a fantastic round. strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Oh, he's been working hard defensively. Kick clock there. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Smith gets caught with that punch. Gotta shore up the defense here. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. Nice kick there by Smith. Both fighters throwing heat now. Smith's lower jaw very swollen now. Time to bite down on the mouthpiece and move forward. Looking to land the right hand. He misses. Obvious limp there, his leg hurting for certain. Spinning back fist is there. Oh, another strike to the body. Not a lot of real estate there, but he found it. Nice punch lands over the top. Timely defense there, huge block for him. Just over three minutes to go now. There's no give on that leg kick. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Joe. There as he lands, and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Now connects with a right. Just unable to quite find that range. Oh, that's a good right hand. Nice punch there by Smith. And they separate. Nice right hand. Dig and kick. Oh, big left hand there. And they separate. And that is a serious cut. Oh, high level defense there. The hook shot is blocked by Choi. Well, he has really started to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. Great punch. Big leg kick land. Look at that leg. Oh, he lands the Superman punch. Well, eventually you know he's going to turn this defense into offense, but he's certainly doing a nice job on the defensive end. They talk about the feeling out process. He's getting his opponent's time. Oh. Oh! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Out of range with that one. Nice one, two there. Effective punch there by Choi. This misses around the team. Right hook to the head block. 
Oh, that's a nice straight punch there. Through the punch, got to the target. Final seconds of round three. Big kick land. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship rounds. All right, so that's the end of the round. Potential adversity here. He's got a cut on his cheek sustained from that strike in the round. Now the focus becomes maximizing these 60 seconds, shutting that cut and preventing it from becoming a major factor here moving forward. All right, so there's the end of the round, and the tide has officially turned a huge head strike to stun his opponent. We'll see which corner can adjust here moving forward. I mean, they've got to be celebrating. They've got to be happy. Everything's working. But the other side has to be concerned. They have to figure something out, make some sort of adjustment to try to change the tide of this fight. There's the kick. It's blocked. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Lands with the kick there, no pad on that foot. No shit guards, he's taking all of that kick every time he throws it. Whiffs on the right hand. He can't even, he can barely stand. Just misses with the jab there. Big head kick lands. Oh, he landed that kick to the outside of the lead leg there, DC. He is chopping up that leg. They say chop down the tree. You beat your opponent by slowing him down first with those nice outside leg kicks. Real quick leg kick. Punch over the top. Checks the leg kicks. Just over three minutes to go. And he continues to work the body here. All right, less than three minutes remain in round four. All right, get ready to time. Oh, nice check on the leg kick offering there. And he caught the kick. Ooh, big shot land. Oh, perfect timing on the Superman punch. Kickboxing chops on full display with that offering, nicely done. Beautiful kick landed by this man. Nice right now. Just over two minutes now to go. on the right side of his body.
Smith gets hit with a kick here. That one landed flush. Let's see if he can make some adjustments. Nice leg kick land. Oh, such a natural jab, and there it is again as he gets the hand. Home, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it was coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. Nice movement punch. And both guys really throwing with authority. Bone on bone as the head kick lands flush. He better get those hands up or he's going to put him to sleep. That was a thudding leg kick. 15 seconds. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Slips. Buzzer sounds for the end of round four. All right, so there's the end of the round. Big story in this one now. The cut on the bridge of that nose from that strike. The cut man is in there. Should be able to shut this one and potentially prevent it from being a factor here moving forward. Boom, body kick right there, landed perfect. All right, now we check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about the display of striking? Just high level. I mean, you would think that we're watching a K-1 level kickboxing match opposed to being in the UFC. Both displayed great technical skills, unbelievable striking. Way to hide that leg kick. That's a good strike there by Smith. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Lesson one in boxing class, hands up, chin down. of strikes up top. Oh, beautiful combination up top. I don't understand why the guy is not moving his head. Get your head moving, son. They continue to exchange. 
All right, well, time is the enemy now, DC, and he's really running out of it if he's going to get his hand raised tonight. He's got to go forward. He's got to just throw See, you don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. different looks, he switches to southpaw now. Back to the feet now. One minute to go in the fight. Nice punch here. 45 seconds remain in the round. Checks that leg kick. He needs to start looking at the finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Thirty seconds now to go in the round, and that one certainly found the target. Twenty seconds to go in the fight. Just out of range with that kick attempt. Final seconds of this fight. Able to check the high kick. The fight. Sounds. All right, so the fight goes the distance. We'll take a look back at the action, but should go his way given all he got done in the striking game. Yeah, he did a great job of landing at will, mixing up the target, doing everything that he's become known for in order to cruise to a very good decision. I know he didn't get the finish that he wanted so bad coming in here tonight, but he had a phenomenal performance, and he showed that he's one of the best fighters in the world. The official decision is in. It resides with the venerable Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest 50 45. Clearing the winner by unanimous decision. Man! All right, so the judges are in agreement tonight. He is your winner by unanimous decision. Certainly, pretty easy fight to score, I thought. Yeah, I thought it was an easy fight.